Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for June 10th to a uh, June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump straight away into, uh, into the spread. <clears throat> All right, so uh, the first card which marks the topic for Capricorn uh, week, that is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Capricorn needs to overcome for throughout the week, this is going to be the uh, Four of Wands. Third card that we do have, that is to be the positive aspect for a Capricorn's week, uh, that is going to be the Page of Wands. And then the last card that we do have, it is going to be the guidance uh, that you Capricorns uh, needs to follow, or rather like what Tarot has for you as a guidance, we have the Five of Cups. All right, so once again, topic itself is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by uh, the uh, Four of Wands, which stands as a challenge. Afterwards, that is to be uh, the seven, uh, the page of wands, excuse me, which is uh, the positive aspect. And then we have the five of cups, which is uh, the guidance. All right, so Capricorns, this week itself is going to be, I would say, quite emotional. Um, that is uh, for the reason being uh, as the arrangement of uh, arrangements of the card so i don't know how to really explain it uh, but uh let's say that I, I will try to explain it that way okay so let's say that you do have um a certain option right or kind of like uh you do have a door which is open for you it's just the problem here it is how you can make it work and uh, from one side, you will have all the potential that it is possible from this uh, endeavor or an enterprise. And from another side, you are going to have the whole vagueness and insecurity as well. You know, is it going to work out and how exactly that thing is going to work out? So that's why the week is going to be emotional. One day you're going to be very optimistic and uh, in a good spirit as well, you know, how, looking toward the brighter future. On, on the other day, uh, from another hand, you are going to be rather down in spirit, doubting yourself, and uh, so on and so forth. So it's going to be a week that is going to be accompanied with uh, ups and downs in uh, a mood-wise. And this mood also is going to affect your um physical performance that is one day you may not be very productive at work or very productive at your relationship as well that is due to the uh, this particular fact that you may lose a hope for the future for a, a short period of time now the seven of uh, cups here as a, a particular topic uh, it does point that you are going to be um how can i place it more daydreaming than anything else for throughout the week in a sense of that's because um, 
this goal or aim of yours or whatever it is will have a potential, you will allow yourself to basically dream about it, you know. While in the same time, uh, you will know that it's not going to be that easy as it seems and that itself is going to plummet your mood downwards. So how, what is the best way here to cope with the seven of wands is one to be rather grounded, one to focus on what one has uh, have to work with at this particular moment instead of one focusing of, on what could be in the future. That is due to the fact that the uh, Seven of Cups is selling are your dream fantasies or seeds growing, while well, it yet remains uh, to, be, uh, to be knowing. So that's why you should not jeopardize at least for throughout the week uh, any kind of uh, possessions you have, like for example, marriage, career, and etc., etc., with a moves or rather risky moves which are not promising any kind of return. The accompanied card that is to be the page of cup, the page of pentacles here, excuse me, and the formation is a passive uh, friends that we have. So uh, now I am taking my words back from uh, of this sentence. Are your fantasies a um, are your goals fantasies or seeds growing? Well, here with the page of pentacles, your goals are definitely seeds growing. Okay, but it's uh, just is gonna take more time than uh, you are wishing for them to take. And instead of uh, charging toward them right now, you will have to do uh, first the following. You need to, uh, how can I describe it? Um, manage your resources, if I may express it that way. In other words, invest just as much as you're going to get in return and just as much as you're not going to uh, be left empty-handed, that is. Uh, these couple of cards as well, uh, for a, a relationship, it could mean that uh, someone is going to share their emotions with you, a friend of yours, that is. Um, I have a friend, Capricorn, that, that already happened. So probably there are, are going to be a big revelations uh, into this relationship throughout this week, you know, June 10th to June 16th. Uh, further revelations there. But generally, these uh, these cards are asking you not to get ahead of yourself. Okay, think think very carefully what you, how you are to approach the situation from now on. You have to approach it. There is no second guess into it. But how exactly uh, there is a, a better way than uh, than the one that you are thinking right now. So that's why you should hold down your horses. As I said, not get ahead of yourself and think thoroughly. You know what kind of a action you are to take from now on because you don't want to jeopardize anything that you do have at this, uh, this very moment. Uh, the challenge that you're going to stand in front here, that is to be the Four of uh, Wands. And the Four of Wands is a challenge. It's saying only one thing, and it does say that there is a, a very important detail. There is a, a very important matter around you that it is a uh, overlooked. So that's why you have to be more it's either vigilant is the word or rather like keen with your perception to spot on on this uh, thing you are overlooking and attend to it immediately because that thing it is the only thing that stands in between you and the accomplishment of the goal that you are after here with the first couple of cards that either dream of yours or fallacious goal of yours that it is not fallacious at all but it's something quite reachable However, because of this overlooked detail or this overlooked circumstances, uh, you cannot find the right way how to approach the endeavor itself. The accompanied card here, this is to be the uh, emperor and what we have, it is a active supporters. So with the emperor here, uh, you do have even more stress upon your reluctancy and upon your mood swings for throughout the week. Because additionally to this overlooked detail, also is this de this detail itself, as long as it's not uh, it's not attended to, it will wreak even bigger havoc upon your situation. You may feel more emotional. You may feel like your uh, job is slipping away. For example, you may feel that yes, that person describes their emotions towards you. You want to be with them, but something else is kind of blocking that. 
for example, your family doesn't approve them, you know, or for example, you're living in a different state and, and so on and so forth. So there is something in between you two. And uh, just the evoking that picture that there is something in between you two is going to further feed up this, these mood swings. From one side, you're going to be happy that there is someone loving you. And from another side, you're going to be despondent because even though you both love each other, for example, you cannot be together so that it's kind of like this kind of a uh, such kind of a situation so what you can do here is kind of like as i said um define what is that a um detail which you are overlooking and try to very response uh, with a very responsible fashion to attend to it and uh, also try to exert more structure into uh, into your life as the emperor breeds and through the structure you're going to make those ups and downs and especially mood swings much more uh, much more bearable now on the bright side here guys we do have the page of wands as a as a um positive aspect of your week and that is actually a, a person now how positive uh, this uh, person is going to manifest for you it does depend of what kind of people you have surrounded yourself with because the very purpose of the page of wands here is to cheer you out and to give you hope that um, hope or a clamor i don't know which word to use uh, really that eventually you have to do something to to make yourself to make yourself happy and to make yourself amused for example uh if someone is promising you a good job all right but uh, there is a, a contract you have signed that deprives you from taking a new job but you have to stick with this current one for a specific period of time and you know you want to start a new job the, the boss of the new job wants you but that contract st stands in the way probably there is an important detail into this contract which will allow you to break it and to um, go and start working into this new job or maybe you are exaggerating the repercussions of breaking up that contract and this person here exactly is going to help you realize the accuracy of the situation or put the accurate diagnosis of, situ of the situation and to realize that actually you are losing way too little in comparison of what you are gaining. The accompanied card that is to be the six of swords and the encouragement here is real guys the formation it is in active uh, friends and that person is gonna bust your ass to take your chances and do the transition that it is required for for you to provoke the necessary change if i may express it that way to improve your circumstances and as we can see here uh, with these cards, your current situation probably ain't uh, ideal as it can be. And that's why you need to make these brave steps moving on forward, taking as an example or encouragement of the page of ones, which could be a, a man or could be a woman around your age that are encouraging you, you know, to do something for yourself this time uh, for a change. And the last card that we do have, uh, this is to be the guidance and that is the five of cups and the five of cups tells us a couple of things here it does tells us that yeah that transition that you are to do or straving toward a new thing here uh is going to be accompanied with certain losses i mean there is no other way around it Don't, not taking it you are going to lose it taking it you are going to lose something else but with the five of cups as a guidance the card says that those losses are going to be just temporary losses and uh you will be able very swiftly to recover from them. But also the Five of Cups uh, tells us that uh, whatever path is opened, uh, is opened for you and you are pulled toward it. It's not just a path opening, but you are also pulled toward it. It is the one you need to walk on. Okay, that, that is your path. I mean, you, you should not restrict yourself from those decisions or from making up that choice which your conscious or emotions in this case are telling you to do the accompanied card here that is the um eight of pentacles formation it is a passive friends that we have and with the eight of pentacles should you have a key nine for the subtleties here and for the minor aspects 
of this endeavor, taking your time, doing the things are they are supposed to be done, you can definitely stir a, a long-term developed plan or something, all right? You can definitely make the things right. It is what I'm trying to say here. Manage the ups and downs. Go through them as a, an iron is going through fire and water before being forged into something strong, you know? And at the end, you know, reaching that point where whatever you are to build up uh, from this new path, door opened, endeavor or enterprise is going to be um, indestructible, okay? So have courage, it is what I'm trying to say here. Have courage and listen to the example that you're gonna be given here. Do not be afraid to do something to improve your circumstances. And at the end of the day, there are always people who lose into uh, situations. Just this time around, Capricorns, you have to make sure that the loser ain't you, about someone else. Okay, so uh, that being said, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for April 10th, uh, June 10th, excuse me, to June 16th, 2019. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.